they're a highly communicative, highly evolved, and I believe quite intelligent uh, species. And uh, they're always telling you exactly what they're going to do. And I've done this for so many years, I can literally lay there, and if they're just vocalizing, I can tell you exactly what's going on now. And uh, it's pretty amazing, because basically most of my observations are on the auditory end. To see a small bird, particularly out in ancient forests, in this huge, you know, foliar column, it's very difficult to get visuals on them all the time. You see them occasionally, but it's mostly you're hearing them. Yeah, it's a very a relatively new uh, phenomena to various western Washington uh, cities. It's pretty exciting when all of a sudden you have, you know, them in your backyard. You can turn off, uh, you know, the nature program and go out back and enjoy an exciting uh, experience right there. fortunate enough to watch um, them hunting, you know, as such as you can in a young forest uh, in a f um, city where it's maybe a little more open or you have the grid work of roads and you can stay up with them, unlike out in the wild places. Um, and to watch, you know, maybe a male uh, make um, a dozen hunting attempts at something like a starling in an urban setting. And to have those uh, starlings, you know, detect the Merlin who's been head bobbing and getting all this visual and auditory, you know, insight uh, while it plans its attack. And then to have these starlings go bink, bink, bink and dodge around the corner of the house, even though the smart bombs, you know, following their ever move and still miss them. I mean, a dozen hunts in an hour, and you never catch one of them. So you just wonder, well, you know, none of us could uh, go shopping like that, or we wouldn't be around for very long, would we? So. She uh, will then normally uh, plume the feathers off of this, leaving the feet on, and uh, unfortunately she dropped this one, so I call these fumbles. Uh, find these below um, their prey exchange and uh, pluming trees.